All right, welcome everyone. All right, so we're going to jump into some train sim here. We have a timetable that we have ready. So we're going to try to play through that one a little bit more. Finish all that up. So let's get started. So this one is our timetable mode run. Let's play that one. All right, there's some trophies here for running through stuff, so hopefully that stuff happens, but we'll see. We'll probably go for maybe about an hour today. We did some train sim the other day, so... Okay. I didn't realize we are in the older train on this, the older tram on this one. All right, doors are closed. Oops, somebody still has them open. There we go. All right, let's continue. I like the newer one because the display is a little bit easier to to read. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If we can do some lighting for ourselves inside. There we go. The newer one also has a throttle that you can lock in. Hey Rob, how you been? I know I haven't seen you forever. How you? How's it going? Um, I guess school is out for you now, right? Did you finish high school already? I think you did last year, right? I know you wanted to be become a veterinarian, but I haven't spoken to you in forever. How have you been? How's life in? Illinois. This is tram sim, so it's a little bit different from train sim. Okay, doors are open. Yeah, this one's a little harder to tell when all the doors are open. There's no display to show you which doors are still open, but we'll just wait for this to get green. This guy's going to come in and show he's taking a sweet time, though. Everything's good? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, you graduated this year. Okay. What's your plan? I know. I remember you did want to go to veterinarian school. All right, let's continue. Oh, and congratulations on finishing high school. Nowadays, it is a very, very big accomplishment. It's difficult in some places to do. Well, good. I'm glad you're doing well. Any fun plans for the summer? Are you know, you're just working? Alright, someone requested a stop. Try to keep it around 30, so... And this one, uh, we can't set our speed, so I have to actually manually maintain it, so we're doing that. Yeah, I've done some small investments in the stream, got a camera, um, that's mainly it, I had the green screen for a while, but got, instead of using the computer's built-in camera, I started using um, an actual streaming cam, so we get really good quality so far. You're gonna work for a minute? Okay. I had meant to send you that program, but I don't think I ever did. Um, there was a veterinarian program for kids your age. Oh, nobody else wants to come out. Okay, somebody else is operating the door in the back. I hear it. Okay, doors are closed. We must wait for... Okay, we can go. So I think we're going to the left. Yes, we are. Good. I gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I know some people who took a break and then went back, and then I myself just just kept going, and then took a break between undergrad and, and my master's. Um, but yeah, I mean... That's what you feel. Give yourself the time. But nowadays, um, having a uh, 
Vector 3 makes a big difference when it comes to working and actually making a reasonable living. Yeah, what happened? Why'd you stop playing? I remember, I think you had like, was something going on with your Xbox for a little bit as well? Alright, we're actually getting really good stops on this particular tram. Tram. I have to catch myself from saying train all the time, so. Okay. Uh, gonna wait until we start to get advance notice here before I close the doors just in case anybody else pops up that wants to jump on. Alright, so that one's clear for the turning one, but we're not turning, we're gonna go straight, so I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I remember the last time you were doing, uh, you were streaming The Sims, like the little series that you created. Yeah, I've still mainly just been doing sim simulators, so train sim. Bus sim is still kind of uh, underperforming. It crashed for me last time I played it like three or four times. So, uh, which is weird, which is rare, because like usually console games don't crash. <laughs> so, something's going on there. Yeah, you know, I've also been doing a lot of traveling this year. So we went down to Disney. I went to Scotland for a little bit. And then uh, we went to Utah a few weeks ago. Uh, flew into Salt Lake City and then stayed in Park City for three or four days for a wedding. stop coming up here and somebody wants to get on out so we'll let them out yeah welcome if you're joining just playing some tram sim here console edition ps5 oh i gotta edit that it's actually on the ps5 not the ps4 yeah no you're still in high school so it's not very easy to do so you know now that you have some time you can figure out how much you want to do Yeah, I don't think uh, if I was still in high school, I would have I would be streaming as much as I do, because there's really no time. And I was like super busy in high school, so I understand. But I'm glad you're okay, still around. I have to edit this thing because unfortunately I forgot to put PS5, so I'll fix that in a second. Yeah, it's a lot. I remember. Couldn't wait to get out of it, but life is a little easier when you're in school. You don't have to worry about bills all the time. Alright, let me just edit this real quick. I'm going to say PS5. And done. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. Doors close. Keep going. There's a, yeah, there's like another stop like right over here. We haven't had any wheelchair uh, patrons in a while. That's another thing, each tram has a different uh, wheelchair access. 
there. So we're cruising at about 28 kilometers per hour here. We have our turn coming up. We'll slow down just a little bit and let it roll through. Very nice. And our stop should be coming up right here. But we have a tram in front of us. So we'll just hang out here until this one leaves. Alrighty. Hopefully we don't have a uh, crazy backup here. Yeah, there's no way to look ahead like you can on uh, on train sim to look at the map and see what's heading, what's going on ahead of you. Although they did do something that's nice, you can easily make the HUD go away pretty quickly. But you do need this pointer sometimes, so if you make it go away, there's certain tasks that you can't accomplish. So, All right, let's see what we get here. We do have another tram ahead of us. Uh, I wonder if they're waiting for another one ahead of them. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, a lot of people, I know I, I personally used a lot of gaming for just relaxation. Uh, it gives me a kind of a break as well. And then you also have a sense of accomplishment, which goes a long, a long way when you're stressed out. So, All right, we're cleared ahead. So yeah, sometimes you just got to kind of use your judgment when it comes to this section because you're not really going to get a lot of heads up here from the signaling if there's trains ahead. Got a lot of people wanted to get off so. Okay. I think yeah the tram that was in front of us I think we're going the same way so people Really shouldn't have any issues with that. But they're bo they booked it. They got out of here real quick. Alright, paying attention to signals here. Uh, this is the Vienna map, so just slow down just a little bit. And then we'll slow down before we come in contact with the one ahead. We're right, kind of coasting through here, not too bad. Looks like we'll be stopping up here. I do like the controls on this one, though, because you actually are using. Um, the sticks, the control sticks, to increase and decrease your throttle. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, so let us close the doors and continue. Yeah, we actually just came up this road and then went around. Now we just came back around. Another stop request coming up. Uh, I have not driven these at night yet. That's something else that we're trying to do. Alright, another 10 point stop.
Doors closed. Let's continue. I just rang it so that those people didn't try to cross the street. Oh, God. We've been getting punctuality points, which is something that we really haven't done, honestly. Oh, yeah. I got a sub button now. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I think that's been there. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I think that... Uh, I think that button's been there now for... Uh, almost a little bit more than two years now, yeah. Appreciate that, Rob. And again, I'm glad to see that you're good. All right, so continuing here. Again, I'm trying to keep us under 30, and we are like back to back with this tram in front of us. I wonder if it's crowded because people keep. Uh, we're running the same route, I believe. So. Okay, now we're starting to hit the streak. So that's good. Uh, subscribers, it's not a lot. I don't have that many subscribers on like a regular thing, but I do have a, like 160 something followers. Yeah. But I don't get a lot of subscriptions at the moment. All right, we're gonna wait. Yeah, I've been trying to get to a thousand here, but actually, um, I've been putting a lot of the old videos on the YouTube now uh, because the Twitch um, VOD system it doesn't last as long for uh, affiliates. So I, it's, I forgot how many days it is, but it's like real quick before they get rid of this stuff. So, all right, so we're being held at the signal here as people cross the street. Once that clears, we'll continue. And yeah, I leave the doors open. Somebody just came in. That way, if people want to jump in, they can. As this is an automatic door system where the passengers can actually let themselves in. I think I might have missed the signal to go forward a second ago. That one's for turning. Because I think we're supposed to go straight. I'll wait a few more seconds to see what we get. He just pressed the button and changed his mind. Unless the same person. Sometimes the characters look alike. So he might have gotten on and another one got off. Alright, let's get ready to go. Alright, so I'm just going to go because I don't know what direction they want us to go. Unless only the turn one uses the other thing. Alright, we got punctuality points. I honestly don't know what our times are. Oh, nice. You know, Rob, they, they've actually always been able to do that. They've always been able to let people cross-play on uh, different systems. You know how I know this? Because a lot of times you, I would see, like, celebrities playing, and they would hide the icons. And I was like, hmm, why? There's no need to hide the icons if everybody's playing on the same system. So I could tell, like, sometimes, like, one celebrity is playing on a PlayStation, the other one's playing on an Xbox. And they would just like blur out the icons on their videos whenever they were showing it. And I was like, 
yeah there's already a full crossplay compatibility in there and I have a feeling I've seen like tournaments and stuff like you know how they have like the 2k league like there's no way everybody's playing on the same system especially when you have a league of people who are playing on playstations and playing on xboxes like it's impossible for that to to be to not have already been enabled yeah somebody just opened the door at the last second all right doors closing all right let's continue all right so we are going to the right so we'll signal so whenever you see that like red band come out with the points that means that we have a streak going uh, it's t it takes a lot of points to get to the next level which is why I haven't gotten there yet but that would be cool I don't know I'm I haven't decided if I want to pre-order it or not yet. I pre-ordered the last one. I, my character's at 97. I played like the first quarter of the season, and I've mainly just been doing my team. I haven't really done a lot. I've done a good amount of my career, but like I, I it just it gets to a point where once you kind of master it against the computer, it's not as enjoyable. And I've been playing long games like like uh. I've been playing like the 12 minute quarters so it takes like an hour or so to play a full game but I need it for the stats and it's the easiest way to build up your player faster but it takes a lot of time um, a few years ago I got a player to 99 um, but it was uh, a slipping 99 so you'll be 99 like today and then tomorrow you'll drop down so was uh I wasn't expecting I thought once you were there it was permanent but yeah I'll figure it out I don't know what I want to do with it yet First time I've seen that speed restriction there. It's 25. Also going downhill, so the thing is like speeding up on its own. Alright, still green ahead, which is good. I'm literally like on the brake right now and it's still just flying. Somebody's still entering. Okay, we're good to go. Let's continue. Yeah, this one's actually pretty good. It actually isn't... Uh, they haven't, I haven't found any major bugs at all, which is rare for certain sims. Scenery is pretty good. The draw distances are a little bit better than uh, Train Sim. And the Train Sim folks were actually kind of like uh, advertising for this as well. So it's been nice. Alright, and again, if you haven't, feel free to join the Discord. You'll get notifications when we go live. If you have your notifications turned on there, you also turn your notifications on here on Twitch. And then if you want to watch any of the videos that you missed in the past few months or weeks, you can always check out the YouTube page. It's open. Waiting to see if Cyan was going to stream today. I was going to try to join him for his fly along, but 
I think he's either busy. I know he usually watches the uh, F1 races, and it was a pretty big race today. I got a trophy for ignoring signals already on this. <laughs> All right, we're good. But I think it caught me because like I would go through a signal that was changing. That car wants to turn. Thanks for not hitting us. Excellent. We still got our streak going, so that's good. It gives you a little bit of a points multiplier, if I remember correctly. Okay, doors closed. Let's continue. Alright, so it's telling us that the signal ahead is green, which is a nice little thing, so you can be prepared to stop if you had to. Alright, signal ahead is still green for us, according to that notification. There we have a tram in front of us, so I'm just going to stop here, and we'll wait. Now that's not the same one that was in front of us before, because that other one was an S1, looks like an S2. So we'll just hang out here for a second. Oh, this one, we don't have to check for tickets on, on tram. So we don't have to worry about that, which is nice. <laughs> Bus sim, you have to check for tickets, but this one, it doesn't require you to check for tickets. I go on the honor system. I'm just going to pull up behind this one. As you can see, yeah, this one's 62. We're on Route 1, so. Oh, don't, don't, I'm not opening the door yet, bruh. You're going to have to walk down. He's going to be mad. They want to jump on, but I want to pull up more before I get there. And I could open now, and just but I'm not going to get the bonus for be, for a good stop point. It'll be nice. I'll, I'll let them come in, and then we'll stop up there as well when we get there. I don't. It depends on which game you're watching. Where you watch? Because this is tram sim. I mean, they don't teach you in the tutorial to check for tickets, so I never tried to. Um, but I know bus sim, you check for tickets. There's also a game called Train Life Simulator. Maybe that one they may check for tickets, but I don't know. And like super backed up right now. Gonna mess up our punctuality bonus. Yeah, but no, I haven't played anything outside of bus and we had to check for tickets. On TSW3, really? And maybe it's one I didn't get. There's a few trains that I haven't gotten yet. Like there's a few maps that I just haven't gotten. This is like a new line that they're doing. I don't know. I haven't, like I said, I haven't 
had to do it, yeah. Yeah, but they were releasing lines like every week for a while, and I didn't. I skipped a bunch of them because I was. I'm trying to not spend all my money. <laughs> but I did buy the latest uh, update, which was uh, the gossip line, glossip, glossip, gossip. And so I, I did some streams of that on there. All right, so what's happening here? We're definitely backed up, but I don't know why. I could get up and try to see what's happening. Why is this person not moving? Strange. It's a first. This is a first. Let's get back on. Close the door. Sit down. And we can't just like plow through them, so. Oh, I, I think we may have met our glitch. I was just saying how like I haven't had any glitches, and this looks like it might be one. Okay, so let's save this. See if we can a few more minutes here uh, if not if it doesn't change then I want to switch to a night run uh, using the flexity we'll see what happens We're really not moving. I don't think we could push it along. Uh, I actually have a, a gaming uh, laptop that I bought, so I've been playing Flight Sim that way. Okay, so let's go back to the menu. I think that one's a little zonked right now. Let's try to run one of these at night. So we're going to do Vienna. Oh, there's some scenarios that we can do. 
Uh, let's try the start of the shift. And let's try to. Oh, this this time thing is going to take forever. So let's just do eight in the morning. And then after this, we'll try a night one really quickly. Gonna use the flexity. So start of shift. This one looks like we're putting a, a train in service. Yeah, actually, I enjoy it. Um, I have a flight control, so it's a little bit easier to do with that. Um, but it is one of my favorite games to play. All right, open vehicle with the square key. Okay. So we got some garbage bins. We're gonna be coming out of the depot here. Okay. Alright, we used X for that, not square. Alright, let's get into the cockpit. Open the door. I like to close the doors behind me. We'll sit down. Alright, let's see if it'll walk us through the startup. I guess not. Okay, so. Oh, you, did you actually do that whole flight? Hey, Cyan. Um, I was waiting for you to see if you're going to stream today, man. I was going to try to see if you're going to do a fly along. I was going to do the fly along with you. Uh, but I figured you were watching the race because I know you're a big uh, fan of the F1s. All right, so let's raise the pantograph. Uh, I think you go to VA. I'm going to go to two. All right, there we go. I don't even remember how to start this up, but I think we're almost there. Oh, we turn that off. Uh, lights on auto. One for cabin light. Okay, I think everything's almost done starting up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I enjoy doing the flights. All right, let's open the manual. Let's see, did I do everything right? Oh no, I was supposed to set this to one. My bad. There we go. Okay. All right, we have to clear that. And then we go to, which one is the same as set to two? This one? Set it to two, okay. And then this one goes to VA, we did that already. And then the pantograph goes up, there we go. So we should be in full mode now, excellent. Okay, supposed to get an error code. I'm gonna go to this one now, set it to zero. And then, set that to zero. All right, let me restart this because I know I didn't do, I didn't follow it right. I got to make sure I pull the manual up first. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, I am. Are you, uh, are you streaming later today or what? I was going to try to join you for your fly along, but I don't remember last week if you said you were streaming or not, but we're going to do this, uh, tutorial. I mean, not tutorial scenario on this one really quickly. Let's just bring one into service. So let's do start of shift 807. Let's use 308. Let's do 305. Let's do 305 for Mr. Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide. You did the whole flight on Xbox, Rob? 
Yeah, Cyan's usually do them Sunday, Monday flights, but uh, I'm not sure. I know, like I said, I know that he. Uh... Okay, cool. So, how was that a two hour flight from Chicago to San Francisco? Three hours. Is that what killed your Xbox? That long flight. All right, let's go through the proper startup procedure now. Sit down in the chair. Okay, let's. Uh, I was waiting for the prompt to tell us about the manual. Start your shift as a tram driver. All right, so. A second ago, they gave me the option to look at the manual, but now they haven't done that yet. So I think the first thing to do is set this to one. There we go. So that starts up. Three hours, okay. Okay, now we set this to VA. Uh, let's see if it'll let us hit the acknowledge here. Yes, it will. Acknowledge. Next. Okay, here we go. Now the manual popped up. Okay, on the left side of driver's cabin central key, set it to one. Did that already. Okay. The vehicle will boot up as systems and INC failure icon will be there. Do not continue until the failure icon stops flashing. Okay, so go into IBS mode. Okay, press any button to get activate to go away. Uh, we need to set a valid number here. Uh, what did that thing say for the number? 10142. Oh, you have something to do? Okay. Yeah, I was going to try to join you today for your fly along. 10142. 10142. And I okay. Let's go back for a second. Okay, that part's done. Personal number, choose any six digit number. Okay. So let's do something easy. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Okay. Now press the Xyle button to select the target. You can switch between the targets, confirm the target is set. Okay, Zeal. Um, I don't even know what our target is supposed to be. Let's go with happy birthday. Okay. All right, I guess we're all set. Okay, uh, okay, so set this to zero. Set this one to zero. It's making me go through this again. Oh, I messed up. Okay, so I should be at one. And then we'll set it to two and set the other one to VA. Okay. We already had it set up and I blew it. I blew it. Got to do this all over again. All right. And now, of course, it's not telling me what I need to do. 
Okay, oh, it saved it. Okay, good. So we are good here. Good. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Ein Zyle. Let's go with happy birthday again. Set. Okay, so we can back out of this. Okay. Next. We have to, I want to set the lights. That's on auto, cabin light. Let's do VA. Set this to two. Raise pantograph. All right. Acknowledge. Front door closed. So we get a fault error. So cars when it's not in zero. Okay, so let's set. So let's set you to zero. And set you to zero. Let's Clear, okay, well, clear that. Oh, I shut it off again. All right, this is a bit of a Clusterfoo VA. Are we good? Set this. The zeal. I think this is the one we need anyway. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. Nope. <laughs> oh, is the door open still? door we just opened it close the door okay uh, let's see So it's taking a little bit of learning here. I think we're going to get this before we finish, though. So let's see. Okay. Or should we VA? I think I know what's wrong. So this should be at zero. This should be set to two. Clear. Okay, now that means we have to set the direction. So now we'll set the direction. There we go. Okay. That's what happened. I had to have the key set to one thing before we set the direction. Alright, took a little bit, but we got it. Again, it's not in English, so it does require a little bit of uh, 
Mark here to make sure that we got everything right. We are in the Flex City and we're doing a scenario to get this vehicle into service. So yes, yes, yes. set to 30. Speed limit there. This is the first time I actually saw a speed limit on the track itself. All right, got some passengers. Hit that car. Yeah, I wish that there was a map. Do you know like where you are and what stations are coming up? Because I do not know. Yeah, we had to start this in the tutorial, and that's the last time you started, so. I guess I'm supposed to pick people up while we get there. Bernhardstalgasse. Knöllgasse. Knöllgasse. Interesting. Oh, I 
I like how that car just came out of nowhere. Just like spawned. Oh, we have a wheelchair passenger. Yeah, join the Discord because then you can see when we're going live. And then also, if there's any discounts on things, I try to uh, send messages about that there. Like, they gave away some free things for Train Sim um, because they had some free uh, French routes that they added to Train Sim. Not Train Sim. Actually, I think Train Sim World also was part of it. Um, but I shared that info there. speed locked in on this particular tram so that we don't go above 30. Clear this request here. Doors closed. Cleared. Yeah, that's the, there's a little bit of um, things that you have to do differently whenever you're dealing with a wheelchair passenger, so you have to get used to that. Because each train does some, uh, each tram does some things. Yeah, I find it a little easier to get perfect stops on the older equipment.
Käffern Fadinger Platz. Umsteigen zu 15a. 65a. Wir sind am Ziel. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf, auf, auf Wiedersehen. into one track here. Looks like everybody's going to the same place. And we're all kind of stuck. Well, I guess I spoke too soon about glitchiness, huh? <laughs> because now we had two back to back kind of stoppages here. Well, hopefully, there'll be an update soon. But on that note, uh, let's get back to the menu. All right. So thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Let's give a shout out to our friends who stopped by. Good to see you again, Rob. Hopefully you find some time now to stream again, play some games, etc. Um, yeah, we'll probably, hopefully be back on Tuesday. Not sure what we'll play yet, but it'll be something transportation themed, probably. Um, although I also have been playing, uh, Jurassic World, uh, Evolution 2 on here, which is actually a nice little world builder game. Uh, nice little problem solving aspects to it as well. We'll play more of this as it comes. Hopefully it, it, the kinks get worked out. But I was saying before, I hadn't found any issues. And today we found a few. So that happens. Um, outside of that, I'll send everybody over to see another streamer. Uh, maybe we'll hang out with... Hmm. Go over to Wolfman here. All right, so Wolfman's playing Farming Sim 2022, and uh, that will be it for us today. So everybody stay safe, and we will see everyone on the next stream. Again, you can also check out our YouTube. 
and you can actually catch some of the past gameplay of this and some of the other streams that we've done. Catch you later, everyone.